Hi, I'm Hiral Bhatt. We are bringing you live STEMI India 2018 from Lucknow. A legendary cardiologist, pioneer in STEMI management, and who has taken Tamil Nadu hub and spoke heart attack management at Global, Dr. Alexander Thomas. So, welcome you, sir. So, what has been your experience in, with the Tamil Nadu STEMI program? Okay, if we start from the beginning, the Tamil Nadu STEMI program was a program that was sponsored by the Indian Council of Medical Research and we partnered the Tamil Nadu government in this particular program. <clears throat> what we did was what we call a very unique model of heart attack management. It's now known as the STEMI India model, which really is a hub and spoke model, a hub hospital with a cath lab is connected to multiple peripheral centers. Now, some of these centers could be as much as 100, 120 kilometers away from the hub hospital. And these were linked electronically using a device that we call the STEMI kit. Now, what it does is that a person who presents to a small hospital, you can do an ECG in the small hospital, transmit it to the hub hospital where a cardiologist is able to look at that ECG confirm that it's STEMI so that treatment can start even in a small hospital. Virtually what it does is it handholds the physician in a small hospital, gets him to start treatment very early in a heart attack process. And this is critical. You must remember that when you have a heart attack, the first one hour is so critical. If you can open the blood vessel in the first one hour, you're able to save so much of the heart muscle. So. In this system, we were virtually hand-holding these small peripheral hospitals. In effect, what we're saying is we're taking the heart attack management to the patient. Rather than the patient driving this distance, maybe going two hours, three hours to get to the big hospital for treatment. So this model is now so unique. And what we showed that within a period of nine months of starting this, we reduced mortality by 22%. And that is, in cardiology, that's considered a huge, huge difference in mortality. Now, <clears throat> we also were able to show the use of technology to overcome many of the infrastructure as well as manpower deficiencies that exist in our health system. So you, you, you handhold these smaller hospitals, the transportation becomes easy. So we collaborated not just with the government, we collaborated with technology partners, we collaborated with the 108 ambulances services, so that it's a consolidated model that we developed. Now what has happened as a result of this publication is that countries across Asia and Africa are saying, yeah, this is the model that will work for us. So if you take maybe five years ago, everybody looked at the American model or the European model as a model for heart attack management. Now you must understand that these models are very cost intensive and infrastructure dependent. So you need a very high quality of uh, of, of, of doctors who know how to manage. You need ambulance services which are able to handle this and it's very high cost. Now these countries, when they looked at this model, realized that, yeah, this works for us because this can work in India, it can work in all these countries in Asia and Africa. And I think this has been an impetus, not just for, for states in India, but across the world to look at our, the STEMI India model as a model to take forward. So, sir, how do you plan to take this model across India as well as the group? Okay, <clears throat> if we were to look at what is happening in terms of heart attack management, we've now been approached by multiple states to help them to start similar programs in them. In fact, uh, the Indian Council of Medical Research, which partly sponsored this project in Tamil Nadu, was able to call a dissemination meeting in Delhi where it invited health secretaries from 18 states to come to understand what was done in Tamil Nadu and to see how can we take this forward in each state. What has also happened is the National Health Mission has now decided that this program should be part of the National Health Mission. So the government of India is today talking to different states and telling them that the government of India will pay 60% of the cost of setting up this program. So the states only have to pay 40% of the cost to run this program. So now the states of Telangana, Karnataka and Gujarat have asked us to start work to start a program there. Tomorrow we have a meeting with the health secretaries of 
उत्तर प्रदेश मध्य प्रदेश हिमाचल प्रदेश विद द नेशनल हेल्थ मिशन चेयरपर्सन एंड आई सी एम आर टू डिस्कस वेज एंड मीन्स ऑफ स्टार्टिंग सिमिलर प्रोग्राम्स हेयर इन इन यू पी एम पी एंड हिमाचल प्रदेश सो आई थिंक दिस मॉडल इज 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 समथिंग दैट इज गोइंग टू सी ओवर द कोर्स ऑफ द नेक्स्ट फ्यू इयर्स दिस विल स्प्रेड अक्रॉस द कंट्री बट आई थिंक आई कैन ऑल्सो uh let you know that not just in india <clears throat> the european society of cardiology at their meeting in paris uh this was about 3 weeks ago and there was a meeting where 18 countries from across asia and africa were invited and they were all unanimous that this should be the global model for low and middle income countries so in the next few months you're going to see this model being jointly projected as well as um uh, uh worked into the programs in low and middle in- income countries and both stemi india and the european society of cardiology will be working together and we are now going to call this the global model for low and middle income countries thank you so much for sharing your views and joining us on uh, stemi india 2018 thank you thank you